How do you dress to keep warm when you're camping in cold weather? The secret is layering. We always want to layer because we want to be able to regulate how warm or cold we are. Because when we're camping, we want to be able to add clothes or add layers as we get colder. But if we're going to get up and move around, perhaps do some camp work, camp chores, we want to be able to take layers off because you do not want to sweat when you're camping in cold weather. Sweating can cause hypothermia as much as just being cold or caught out in the rain. So the way I do it is I start with a base layer. The base layer I'm wearing right now is what I wear all the time, regardless of the temperature. It's a simple Under Armour t-shirt and you can always get a knockoff brand. I'm not recommending a specific brand of any outfit today, just the kind of general moisture wicking t-shirt. The next layer I will add is another Under Armour shirt. This time it's got long sleeves. If I was camping in truly cold weather, meaning if I was going to go outdoors and it was already well below freezing, I would not start with my short sleeve shirt. This would be my base layer just so I have the extra sleeves, extra warmth just to start with. But most important is I want this to be synthetic. I want this to be moisture wicking. You may have heard that phrase, cotton kills. What that phrase is implying is that cotton, when it gets wet, it loses all of its ability to help keep you warm, and then it takes forever to dry. Now, I'm not going to tell you that this very thin Under Armour shirt is going to do a good job on its own at keeping me warm, but if it does get wet or if I sweat, it's going to allow that sweat to evaporate very quickly. Or if it were to get wet, say, because it got rained on, this would dry very quickly. All right, my next layer is a wool sweater. I think technically this is a, a wool blend sweater. The, this one's made by Smart Wool, but you can use whatever brand you like. And you can get whatever thickness you like, depending on your weather. Now, I'm camping in Texas, so we don't, typically get that cold, but it does get cold here. I uh, tried to maybe pop your belief. We do get cold. It will, it can drop down into the twenties. Now I know uh, if y'all are living up around like Minnesota, Wisconsin, upstate New York, you're thinking that's not very cold, but uh, when you're going from hundred degrees to 20 degrees, it is definitely cold out there. And seriously, you do have to pay attention. You can get hypothermia. You can be if you were to be way in the back country, you could actually harm yourself or even die in temperatures that cold. So we do have to be take precautions and make sure we're at least comfortable when we're car camping. And so I go with the, I think it's the base layer of wool shirt. But again, if you're camping in much colder conditions, get the appropriate thickness for your weather. Now, if it really were to get that cold, I do have a puffy coat. I can put on top of over all of this. I also have my rain suit. Your rain suit is useful not just for keeping you dry in case of rain. It also is a very effective windbreaker and it can help trap your heat. I'll often, before I put this on, will put my raincoat over me and see how I do in terms of temperature. Since I'm in my house, I'm going to warm. I will take the, the coat off real quick. Now here's another secret for uh, camping in cold weather, and that is invest in a quality ski mask. At the very least, you do want some kind of like toboggan or hat, but I like the ski mask because it covers everything. I can adjust it for covering my face, and because I don't sleep in a mummy sleeping bag, this helps protect my neck from feeling cold when I go to bed. Now, I haven't talked about my pants yet. When I'm going to be cold weather camping, I will also layer my pants. If it's going to get below freezing, I always start with a synthetic layer of leggings. You can get whatever thickness that's appropriate for the weather conditions in your area. Over that, I wear my hiking pants. I have a thin pair of hiking pants that wear all year round. What I like about them is particularly in warm weather, they have insect repellent already built into them. So it can, I don't have to worry about ticks or bugs 
when I'm out camping. So I always, that's why I always wear them. I should say, yeah, I'm talking about cold weather camping. Well, in Texas, our campouts could be cold weather and warm weather on the same freaking day. So that's the reason why I always wear those pants as my go-to uh, outdoors pants. I also do have a pair of ski pants that I hope someday to have to be in a camp out to wear because I'd really like to experience what it's like to go camping in that kind of weather. But seriously, if you're up north and you're experiencing cold weather, snow, invest in a pair of quality snow pants as well to keep you warm and dry. Don't forget your gloves. This kind of gloves, I think I got actually got them on clearance at one of the outdoor stores. But what I like about them is they have that mylar material in there like you find in a survival blanket, space blanket. So I do a really good job of keeping my hands warm. And I always bring along three pairs of wool socks. Now these are not name brand wool socks. I got them on sale at, at Walmart about five or six years ago. And the reason why I bring three pairs is for three reasons. One is if it is cold enough, I will wear the wool socks even before I go to bed. Second thing is that when I go to bed, I always want to put on a clean pair of socks. They feel nicer. And also because it, when your feet are in your shoes or hiking boots, they're going to sweat, even if you don't feel like they're sweaty. So we want to, again, don't want our feet to sweat and have that moisture trapped when we go climb into our sleeping bag because we'll feel cold. So having a clean pair of dry socks is going to help you feel more comfortable when you actually do climb into your sleeping bag. I also like to have two pair of socks on hand for my feet in case I am super cold. But the re other reason why I like to have three pair of socks is, let's say my gloves are not doing a good enough job, I can wear these as a mitten uh, to help keep my hands uh, warm if it's that cold outside. Now, clearly, if I'm camping in a uh, really cold environment, so like I said, with Minnesota, Wisconsin, Colorado, uh, I would recommend having a pair of mittens in your bag as well, because mittens do keep your hands warmer than just gloves. And finally, don't forget the hand warmers and body warmers. These are really lifesavers. They are usually pretty cheap. You can find them on sale on the outdoor section of Walmart. Of course, you can buy them in bulk on online. They are chemically activated, so you don't have to worry about batteries. 